<laughs> Look at Mike. He's like, I got shot a lot. I got multiple bullet holes. He's going to die. Look, what can I say? Bullets are good. I, wait, oh my God. Double, hold on. Hold on. Was that a double click? I see 56, 20, 100. So it's the 20. Okay. 56 <laughs> was my bullshit roll. Ah, I see. Good. 20. Oh, you lucky bastard. Yeah. 100 would have been fucking funnier. Just shows him slit his throat. Now we got to fucking go in through his throat to get the bullet. You just put your hand down. <laughs> you the throat. closest hold of the bullet, you see. <laughs> the lady, not yeah, not the area right. where the bullet went in, because you don't want that dirty area. Uh, roll, roll a D3 there, TJ. <laughs> or roll a D4. If you get a four, roll again. Type thing. Three. Oh, D6 works. Great. You, you're you're going to regain three hit points. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, you're you're really you're conscious, but pretty much until you've gotten some bed rest, you know, maybe for at least a day. The best you can do is kind of do the slow hobble around, sprinting and shit like this. Not good time for you right now. No, I don't imagine it is. No, I don't recommend it myself. I mean, you can if you want. I'm not going to tell you what to do. But, you know, it, it, it's not going to be good for you. That's fine. So okay. so long as I'm not actively being murdered, it seems great. You're not bleeding to death? You're going to get better assuming that they don't double cross you and fucking slit your throat, which would be real easy to do. But, but even then, I, I'm still net positive on time alive. <laughs> <laughs> okay so <laughs> right uh what they do is uh they're gonna leave him here under guard they're gonna have a couple women with fucking guns one of them's gonna be the reloaded shotgun oh yeah uh to guard mr violence and her and a couple other women are gonna take you to go see the burlington gate uh hold on he's shit at navigating and he doesn't have a good memory, as far as I can remember. You probably want me to show you where the Burlington Gate is, as opposed that's, that's to that's what I said. She says we're going to take okay, you. Good. He's staying here under guard because he's Got almost it. dead. Yeah, All those yeah, good. Appreciate it. Bleeding through. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't good. talk, you, or I'll put my finger in your bullet hole. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. No, no, ladies, we need him. We don't need him. We need you. No, no. I need him. Hence, you need him. Hmm. All right. Deal's and a deal. The deal's a deal. A simple navigate roll will take you right back to the gate. I'll even give you plus 10 because you're pretty sure you know which way to go. Here we go. Yeah. There we go. Excellent. Nice. I'll even give you back for free because it's not snowing right now. It's windy and shit, but you follow your friends back. So you take them, you show them the cave, they go, mm -hmm. all right. Um, she sends one of her ladies, she says, okay, what you going to find in there? All right, so I give her the rough pathway that I can remember for how to get back. It's fucking treacherous as shit, I'll have you know. If you can handle it, says lady, we can take it. We're women. I'm sure you can get in there. It's going to be a gold mine for you once you do get through, let me tell you. You're going to love it there. They like it. Okay, cool. Uh, you, you tell them the stuff. She goes and checks and, yes, finds the first obstacle, as is as you said it with rope. This is good enough for them. Ah, one Besides, quick warning. Happy Friday is a threat. My God, what kind of sick savages are they? I'm telling you. All right. And they take you over and they say, now, I don't know how many different places you've gone, but this one is one of the worst. We left a bunch of the uh, disguises here. You can feel free to use them. We're not planning on going back there because a big guy is bad and the little guys are worse. 
just be careful. And it's just in this cave until you get to the metal door. They show you the cave and everything. If you give me a successful navigate roll, fix it in your mind. You won't need any more rolls to get there. Now you have no fucking clue where the hell you are. They just they fucking walked you around the fucking mountains for a while, pointed some random hole in the wall, said this one, and then showed you several other holes in the wall. Yeah, I make that one. Ah, oh, god damn it. Um, okay, so anyway, be sure that you wear your disguise, the costume, at all times. Because if they see that you're a human, they'll freak out. Uh, come again? You heard me. Are you going to be able to, uh, you're going gonna, gonna to give us uh, our stuff back so we can continue from this point forward, right? What? Yeah, like he's going to need his gun back. Uh, uh, no, he shot one of my women. Her gun now. True. True. How's about you give him the gun and I'll take the bullets and not give him the bullets until no, no, we no. are fucking gone. He shot Sally. Right, fine. It's Sally's gun now. But oh right, Shut that it. makes sense. Right, got it. Makes sense. Right. Can I? It, I have my uh, wood collecting axe back. Of course. We don't Thank give you. a shit about that. What the hell are you gonna do with that? Chop somebody? Better not. Fucking no. shoot your ass if you do any dumb shit yeah. like that. Of course you can have your axe back. Thank you. All right. So, they then take you back to town, and as long as you're good in town, you will be their guest. They're not going to do anything bad toward you, but there's another mine that they're at, and they give you vague directions to it. you got a pretty good idea where it is, because there's been a whole bunch of people going back and forth. And they tell you if you're there, they're going to kill you. And then they'll come back into town and kill your friend. So if you leave that mine alone, leave them be, you'll be all right. But if you go anywhere that? close to that mine, it has nothing to do with the air gate that they just showed you. In good faith. And that's perfect. What are you, uh, if you don't mind, what are you guys uh, looking for there? I mine, she says. Uh, how much skill at mining do you have? Have you lost some people due to accidents and stuff? Are you saying you're a miner? I don't even, I just keep looking at her like. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Come with me. And <laughs> what can go with her? Right. Um, cut to, uh, do you want to, they, they are mining for stuff. Uh, basically, they're mining for like gold and shit like that. Mm. They're trying to get gold. Not really exciting, but yeah. Because um, they think that they're going to need it in the future. And Maybe. they want to take the resources from here. They have all the townspeople there. You know, and they're making them fucking work like Indiana Jones number two style and shit. You know, right, and they right, got right. a lot of big women whipping them and stuff. But uh, they, they they want your mining tips and stuff to help them with it. If you want to give them mining tips. Yeah, I'll give them mining tips. I'll also throw in, I, I know this may sound uh, completely insane, but uh, you could increase your production if you didn't have them uh, in chains the whole time. Yeah, but we don't trust them. Right. The more slight freedoms you give them, the more work you'll actually get out of them. And they'll have less now, accidental deaths. Yeah, we don't mind the accidental deaths. When they're all dead, we're done. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I'll give them some tips and stuff. Great, give me a mining roll. Let's see if you actually know what you're talking about here. Uh, fuck was that? <coughs> Ah, that looks like a 95. 95. I give them my best tips on mining. God damn. That's a, is, 96 would be a fumble, wouldn't it? It's, it's fucking, it's a death trap if they listen to anything I said. No problem. Yeah. But I say gonna... it with 100% confidence. Wow. Okay. It shows like, guys working on, you're like, work under, under like, the rock fucking crushes the flat. <laughs> He's like, ha, 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 ha. And 
Uh, let, let's see how she feels about these mining tips because they're just so fucking random. Yeah, she thinks you might be an idiot is the only problem. So she's like, eh. she takes you back, gives you another warning, and tells you that they're going to beat up your friend if they even hear about you sniffing around these mines. Mm -hmm. oh, give me a bite of that, Tim. Give me a bite of that burger. Mm. So good. God damn it. So anyway, and then they take you back, and they tell you that uh, a the what's it called? All right. Um, the Grand Hotel is still kind of open, so if you want to stay there, you can. Uh, they're not happy if you're at the saloon because that's their drinking area. Yeah. Any questions? No, uh, we just uh, want to stay until he's uh, healed up some and we'll get the fuck out of your hair. All right. See that you do. And oh, uh, good luck on your expedition. Yeah. Well, we know what to do to anybody who tells us happy Friday. She stalks off. Uh, your buddy has moved to the Grand Hotel. They have a couple of women uh, uh, make a couple of the men carry him over on a palaquin. They keep him under guard until he's in a room. And one of them goes, there, you'll be all right, and slaps you on your fucking wounded shoulder. She's the one you shot. And, wow, after you become conscious again, you're like, wow, that really hurt like hell. Yeah. My body oh. is a roadmap of pain. Yep, you're at the Grand Hotel. Uh, they, you're in a room. There's some rather nervous-looking dude who's there to make sure you're okay, and he wonders why you're so big and not wearing perfume. Why am I so big and not wearing perfume? <laughs> he is, and he's small. He's also wearing high heels. A lot of cross-dressers in this town, actually. <laughs> I'm like shaking his head. <laughs> so, uh, you guys are left alone. You've got food, drink, warmth, fires. Um, no guns. No pointy things other than an axe. you got a nice axe. A couple of small wood chopping axes as well. They don't care about your... Efforts to get firewood. Usually they make the little men folk go out and do that because they're cruel bitches. I take a look at the disguises. What do they look like, Logan? Disguises? Yeah, she oh, said that she was gonna give us. You disguise. mean you're gonna hike you're gonna hike back out into the cave area. What did they look like? Did I see oh, them they didn't, no? no, they just showed you a metal door. Okay, right, 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 right. All right fair enough. Uh, well, in that case, uh, how much time is it going to take for him to heal the fuck up? You're not sure. You give him right. a night of sleeping and see what happens. Yes. Great. Uh, give me a willpower roll there, Sonny Jim, who's all shot up. Let's see. Make it a good one. Impress me with your willpower roll. You nope. poxy ridden fuck. Okay. Yeah, he's kind of in the same condition the next day. Maybe if you slit his throat, he'll be better sooner. You're not sure. I'll go to the blacksmith. Oh, uh, yeah, that'll fucking do him. Make him some horseshoes on, beat him to death with those, a bag of horseshoes. I like start, your thinking. I'm going to start hammering out some tiny rings and start working on a chain mail vest. <laughs> I think I've sure. got time before he heals up. Fair enough. Yeah, we'll do a little fast forward time while he lays in bed and moans. Give me a, uh, actually, instead of chain mail, uh, you're thinking, because you actually have blacksmithing and shit, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the whole reason I went into the mining was so that I can eventually make whatever the fuck I need, wherever you're, I end up at. You're thinking that the 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 metal metal strips on mm -hmm. uh, uh, leather because there's leather in town and shit. Mm -hmm. Metal strips on leather, a lot faster. Basically, it'd be scale mail type of things or banded oh, sure. leather. Sure. Sure. Give me a blacksmithing roll 
and a leather working role, unless you want to get somebody else to do the leather oh, for you. Oh, since the uh, world's gotten really weird, can I crank out a fucking helmet? Um, maybe. I, it depends on how good you do on this role. Uh, are, are, do you do leather work as well or no? Uh, no, I have woodcrafting and um, blacksmithing. Leather okay, do you want, do you want somebody thing. else to try to make the leather part? Because mm -hmm. I'll make it go a lot quicker if you got leather yeah. base. Sure. Uh, they, they try to slap something together and you want to slap them. They'll try something else that maybe could fit a human, but... Um, yeah, okay, you have a very basic leather coat. No, nothing special. It didn't take that long. Um, and, uh, but give me the plus, blacksmithing roll. This is the tricky plus part. Plus 10 to your skill. Oh, my. Yeah, yeah lower is better, because if you get low enough, you'll just get a helmet thrown in with the fingernail yeah. clippings. <laughs> wow. I complete my Viking outfit. <laughs> okay, yeah. Do you want horns on the helmet or no? No, no, I don't want fucking have, ridiculous they, horns on my helmet. They have cow horns you could get. Uh huh. Right. Oh, okay. Gosh. Meanwhile, uh, give me a willpower roll there, uh, Mr. Wounded Person. I rolled under under my willpower. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yes. Just you're not sure what the actual healing rate is. Time just seemed to blur by, but you are at 100 percent. As soon as he walks in, goes, "Look what I made." And here's my helmet. <laughs> and you're like, I'm completely fine. He's like, how the fuck did that happen? You say, I don't know. I woke up and I'm fine. All the bullets decided they didn't want to be in my body anymore. Apparently so, yeah. Weird. You've got new scars. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you're you're hanging out with Lothar of the Hill people. Um by the way, uh TJ, white mm -hmm. male. You've got, uh, well, it's kind of plate-ish. Uh, armor in this game, very little protection. But the good news is because if I had to protect against each different thing, this would make it a pain in the ass. Mm -hmm. Since it's kind of like only on part of your body and since it's kind of, you know, makeshift type stuff as opposed to articulated plate, etc. Mm -hmm. Two points from all damage. Sweet. All right. Yeah, the most you can get is three, unless you get magic and shit. Then the absolute most you can get is six. No armor protects better than six anywhere ever. Sweet. Your fingernail mm -hmm. clipping is super loud, sir. Mm -hmm. Like thunder. Sorry. So, uh, he's healed up. You're armored up. And away you go. Did we uh, find somebody that can dog, dog sled us? Nah, we actually got another path to another mm -hmm. door to another place. Oh, well, that's mm -hmm. uh, fantastic. Where are we going? <laughs> no clue, but it sounds really fucking bad. <laughs> wow, what a great thing. Well, that's fantastic. Yeah, mm -hmm. also in this time, the, the women have finished with their mining, killed the townspeople that gave them any grief, let a couple go for reasons and moved on. Good luck, so, ladies. Yeah, they none of the townspeople like you guys at all, but that's not the important part. The important part is you live, and the only ones left are yeah, yeah, it's probably a super idea, actually. So, right. yeah, there you go. Right. So, you guys head over to the big metal door. It appears that it can open easily um, on this side. Well, there's got to be a way to open it on the other side. Of You're open. Right. Um, yeah, you ready for some mind-blasting weird shit? All right, what, what am I expecting? <laughs> well, I've been informed that there's creatures on the other side that lose their shit if they discover you're human. So there's been disguises left on the other side of the door. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, you're going to have to speak that, speak that again with a, uh, in English, please. He speaks the true I thought you said the word creature. Very bad. 
bad, bad things. Bad, bad things see you human. Bad, bad things try to kill you. The true, true. Because that's better than uh, Arctic uh, Wasteland so, uh, or Forever Friday. Uh, uh, I'm personally looking to get back to I have uh, a bar I go to regularly to drown my sorrows and boredom. I mean, isn't that this town? No, no, this whole town hates us. Um, everyone here hates us. And yeah. the people who are keeping them docile are leaving. Yep. Mm -hmm. This don't this this area will definitely be fucking this town will definitely be fucking hostile as shit to you. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, uh I'm following you. You as uh to how hostile it was when we first arrived. I still have no idea how we both aren't just like skinned and piked on a, a stick or whatever, but I made a deal. You know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm sure, sure you used that silver tongue of yours in all the right ways to get us out of this situation. Yeah, it was dicey. <laughs> hey! Tim, by the way, they gave you a, a, a set of keys. There are three keys that Ooh. they said, they're yours now, you'll need them. All right. None of them appear to be used on or usable on this door. Can I take a look at those keys? Certainly sure. you can if he wants to take them out of his pocket. Otherwise, you if go. you were to bend over and press the fabric of his pants against <laughs> his leg. <laughs> no. No. Oh. They appear to be like uh, for big locks, like, you know. Uh, like one... a, a giant padlock or something? Yeah. Okay. All three are different. <coughs> Excellent. Uh, I uh, all right. Let's Definitely go. let him see them. Go look at them in case I die, so he can use them. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. No problem. <coughs> so, uh, inward. Um, make sure we have some food before we leave, and other than that, and you're not sure if you can trust the food that you get there because you know um, they they've been looking at you like I'm going to poison you soon. I mean, you've got a little bit of food, maybe a day's worth, but they're going to fucking poison you soon. You're, mm -hmm. you're really impressed that they didn't slit your throat so far. Mm -hmm. Nobody like likes it. you there. Yeah. Well, at least we won't, uh, at least we won't die of thirst. No death. <laughs> so, uh, who wants to open the big metal gate thing? Uh, I would like to look at it first. It looks like a big metal door that has completely filled the tunnel. Like, let's chip away all the stone that will obstruct this door. No more. Okay. Uh, we good to open this door, Tim? Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, I guess I'll start opening the door or attempt to open it. No Come problem. Back. Ready? It, it's grinding a bit. I'm actually going to need a uh, strength roll to open it. If both of you try to get it, you can try to support each other, but it, 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 it wants to well, open, it, but not very much. You try the door first by yourself. If that doesn't work, we'll try together. I want to have oh. my axe ready in case something comes through it. right away. Hmm. Good. You make it. Very nice. It grinds open, and inside, uh, is when, when you get it open, it, it looks as though you can see like a little bit of flickering light far away, like from a really tiny door. And it's dark between you and there. Uh huh. All right. Awesome. <sighs> so are we Rochambeauing for who goes first? No, I'll go. No problem. The guy in the armor with the axe and less bullet holes in his clothing goes first. Mm -hmm. Right. Tim, as you're going through, give me an ass control, you feel as though you're falling, but oh, you're still walking forward. You feel like you're falling, but you're walking forward. <laughs> he actually face plants and then gets up and goes, I'm all right. And then, but you felt really super dizzy there for a minute. 
Not sure what's going on. I don't like it. No. I also keep looking for a, a bag, a bundle of shit, or a box. I'll let you know if you come across that, but you're coming to a door uh, in the distance. And now from Mike, I like a spot roll at a half because it's dark and nobody's bothering to light shit. It's fucking dark in here. So you, he sees the light. It could be any number of bear traps between him and it, but by God, he's already face planted. He didn't face plant into a bear trap, which is really good, but he's moving forward. All right. Well, I'll, I'll walk behind him. Give me an essence roll, Mike. Good luck. We're all counting on you. Um, that is by uh, three. Hmm. Wow. Okay. So you feel as though the ground gets closer to you with every step as you continue. Uh, uh, uh. Nice. Like I'm shrinking? Maybe, maybe, quite possibly, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Eventually you come to a door. Uh, give me, oh, geez. Um, yeah, we'll use spot for perspective. Yep. Wow, that's a really good spot. You guys would estimate that you're approximately this tall. Okay, like a foot tall. Not even. Yeah, okay. less. And um, right on this side, it goes into uh, like there's a simple uh, metal door that opens easily. And inside, it looks as though you're on the inside of a shipping container. There's a lot of small, small holes which are, are cut. But then there's also some sort of black screening stuff in between the holes, and there's like kind of a flickering fluorescent light. Um, and then there's a door out, and it's barred by all these chains. There's these three big fucking padlocks. And then there's these rabbit costumes, about 30 of them on the hooks on the wall. R rabbit costumes? Yeah, like I want to dress up as a giant rabbit with ears and shit like that. And I, we've got an oversized head that kind of flops around a little bit, and it's got like this fucking uh, small cloth grill type thing that you'd be having to look at, and it looks super awkward to wear around and shit. All right. And give me the listen rolls. You're at full. Yep. Uh. <coughs> Mike, you hear in the distance? What sounds to you like an air raid siren? And then after a couple beats, then you then both of you hear them as they begin in this area here as well. Huh. Uh, can we look out the holes? The no, line? because they got this kind of black mesh stuff in there. The you're going to guess might be so that if the light's on in here, which seems to be like motion detected thing, that... Um, it doesn't shine light out through the hole. So kind of good, kind of bad. All right. I put on one of the uh, outfits. Okay, good news and bad news. Good news is you do look very hidden. Bad news is pretty much for anything like spot hidden type shit, you're at a straight negative 30. Also, anything other than waddling around, you're at about a negative 30. These are negative 30 suits. Big, floppy, awkward, fucking, stupid-looking rabbit suit with the floppy ears and everything. All right. Um, he looks I ridiculous, like Mike. To, I would like to use disguise um, to help make the suit maybe a, fit a little bit better on him. It, it's not gonna. It's not gonna help. It's it, it's kind of the suits are as they are. If you if you had like new stuff, you could make an even better rabbit costume. That put you in less or possibly even no negatives, but unfortunately, you don't have the materials. You've got bullet holes yep. in your clothes. That's what you've got. Got it. We got we get to keep uh, what we have on us, uh, or do we have to ditch like our backpacks and stuff like that to make these suits? Work? Oh, the, that's way too big. You can try to put it on the outside of a suit. It just looks stupid yeah. and more cumbersome. 
Got it. Um, it's warm here, right? Uh, it's much warmer than what you came from, yeah. All right. Well, uh, I guess I will put on one of the suits and see how, how, how it is. Just an explosion. Uh, both being in suits, um, unlock the door? Takes a little longer with the suits on, but you eventually get it. No roll required. And as you uh, uh, head out, um, it looks like you're in some sort of city, and there's like a big fucking slow Zeppelin, and it says uh, you can read the words, which is fantastic. And on the side, it says, work, smurf, die. Work. Smurf die. Mm -hmm. It looks as though you're in some sort of uh, area with lots of shipping containers. Fortunately, anytime Tim wants to try to come back and lead you back here, he has navigation. Maybe he'll find it. Maybe he'll be lost in the anonymous hundreds of fucking shipping container area. But you do see something that I need a Sandy roll from both of you. It looks like a Smurf, as big as you guys are, who is currently injecting what may be heroin into himself. Okay. Uh, I passed. Tim passes. Yeah, super. Oh, Tim passed one? I thought he's losing Sandy to fucking everything. Yeah. yeah apparently, this is druggy Smurf. Mm -hmm. He ignores the guys in the bunny suits and concentrates on uh, his uh, addiction. Okay. The Does expression on Tim's face is priceless. Does he have anything around him? That's not the stuff. Dirty needle. Coach. Dirty needle. Mm -hmm. Just keep walking. Okay. No problem. You get to watch uh, Trixie Smurf giving a blowjob to some other Smurf. Uh, John Smurf, maybe. Who knows? Um, yeah, and they're all wearing those stupid white caps and shit. And um, you also uh, hear announcements and stuff like, Papa Smurf needs your help to fight the Keebler elves. Remember, killing a Keebler elf is good for everyone. Things like that. Um, Smurf for Papa. Smurf Overall. Blood and Smurf. Do you have that wake up card? I do. <laughs> I do still have the wake up card. Yeah. Yeah, now now's good. Good as any time. <laughs> uh, um because I'm about so. to smurf my smurfs out all over the floor. <laughs> uh it appears that you are as best you guys can tell, does anybody have history? I'll give you a bonus of 10 on it. You may have watched the History Channel at some point. I have history. I did not make my history with a 10 the extra. I don't have history. I got it. Take a check in history, TJ. Yay. As far as you're able to tell, you are in a 1960s, 1970s type technology, uh, but it's Nazi Germany, but instead of Nazis, they're Smurfs. Are and, the Nazis? Yes. And they're fighting the Keebler elves. <laughs> um, you guys are able to walk around. People, for some reason, think that you're part of an advertisement for Rabbit Restaurant Chain. So, where to? Where? Um, you have no idea why the women wanted to go away from this dimension. They probably uh, weren't from this one. Uh, there's also other phrases like one Smurf, one world, one Papa. Smurf heroically. Uh, kill a Keebler out for Papa Smurf, blood and Smurf. Yeah. A lot of propaganda on various TVs and things, a lot of announcements. So, 
We'll gather whatever intel we can on the numbers of Smurfs here. They are, it's a major city you're in. You're in a big fucking city. Like, mm -hmm. it'd be like going to uh, Chicago and saying, so how many people live here? Lots. Mm -hmm. But right. they, they don't really do suburbs. They, like, want to live in the city with each other. Yeah. We need maybe to get out of the city. Huh. If we can. That is, mm -hmm. if we don't just start fucking walking into the other side. Mm -hmm. And occasionally there's air raids and shit like that. So uh, I got us through the last one. This one's yours. <laughs> Fuck you, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> this one's all yours. <laughs> He's lost it. Oh, you found I mean, a re-education re camp is over there. I mean, I don't know what you're looking for here. <laughs> I would, I would have to assume that there's another gate to somewhere else that's not here. Yeah, but I mean, it's like it's like find find me a phone yeah. booth in Chicago that's yeah. blue. Where do you want to go? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Jesus. Um, <laughs> <laughs> You're thinking the woman may have gotten the bad deal now. Yeah. Um. So, are there like gigantic trees and stuff like that? Um. No, they live in ghettos now, but they paint trees on them. Well, what I mean is like, um, you know, Smurfs are smaller, whatever, right? Uh -huh. Are there like in the distance oh. gigantic trees and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. You're tiny. Yeah, and there's like birds and things like that that are just like massive flying near the zeppelins and shit like that. Uh-huh. Okay. A lot of the birds get shot down though, but yeah. The birds get shot down by the... the... Smurfs, anti-aircraft weapons. <laughs> <laughs> Never seen a couple of Smurfs manning an anti-aircraft weapon before? Now you have. Oh, yeah, this is a horrible place. Oh, God. <laughs> we have no idea where to go or what to do here is the worst part. Yeah. You're, uh, you're thinking, TJ, the women may have fucked you on this one. We get out of the city. Mm -hmm. When we get out of the city, we're we're still uh, like elf sized. Uh huh. Tiny, 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 tiny. I mean, you are literally the size of three apples stacked on each other. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right. So um, we're at, we're at like the the dock area, I guess, is where we start out at because we're you're close to the dock. Well, yeah, I mean, you've been walking around for a couple hours, baffled, but yeah, there's um, a nightclub these, over there. These so everything is like very modernized. Like uh, everything is the same thing as like humans would have, uh, aside from like um, the fact that there are equivalent like thousand foot tall trees or many thousand foot right. tall trees that exist around oh, yeah. us and uh, all the animals are like massively huge mm -hmm. well you don't see any animals in the area because you know they have howitzers right <laughs> <laughs> I would still yeah. assume that a bear would come and fuck this whole town up quite possibly but when when you do get to watch a couple of Keebler Elf airplanes get shot down, uh -huh. it does tell you that they're they, they're good anti aircraft and they got a lot of it, the whole city is like we're fighting uh -huh. type thing. Right. In fact, give me spot rolls of negative thirty. Got it. Wow. Nope. 61, no. Okay. Um, in fact, the only thing that's really different is kind of in the middle of town is a big heap and then a 
fucking ginormous house. It's got like a big wall and shit around it. And it's got like fucking, it looks like a giant built their fucking house castle over there. Everybody avoids that. Yeah. Everybody stays away from that? Yeah. That's where we're going. Are uh, people treating us like a couple mascots that are walking down the street? Yeah, like they're advertising a restaurant? Yeah. They pretty much ignore you and hope not to get handed a flyer. Gotcha. It's awesome. Are you thinking about fucking a couple of Smurf women on the way out? That'd be trying to get in. Not trying to get out. Oh. <laughs> All right. Um, I say we take a direction to see where the city ends and uh, what what goes on beyond the city. So you want to leave the city? Yeah. Uh, I mean, we can't interact with. It could go on forever. Them. And then even if you get out, as you said, you are still three apples high in a world full of. Oh my God, it's huge. We need to head to the. Only thing that always sticks out as being either A, out of place, or B, nobody goes there, or if they have lots of warning signs, fucking that's where we want to go. So the the house in the middle of the city? Oh, yeah. Seems legit. Well, when you get, when you go that way, there are like uh, Smurfs guarding, but they're guarding against the house, not against you guys. When you approach, they give you the fuck off, go away motion because you're not sure why. Uh, random passerby in the, the streets, uh -huh. they, they're just like walking through. Or are sure. they like anywhere close to where this like gun line of people are? Um, not really. I mean, there's, there, keep, uh, there's sneaking over lines would not be a huge problem, but you couldn't just go on the street after and like do sneaky shit to go around. It is possible, but they're, they're keeping people know to stay back. And apparently the Smurfs are guarding against whatever comes from there with some pretty major firepower. There's like Smurf tank and shit like that over there. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's horrifying. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, are there uh, buildings? Are there uh, taller buildings that are around where wherever this center house is? Uh, nowhere near as tall as that. I mean, because like a three-story building is like crotch level and stuff, and that house is fucking huge. So nothing even close to that. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, there there are. Some like um, there's like a Zeppelin balloon type thing, you know, one of the the World War II anti-aircraft balloons. I suppose if you wanted to, you could steal one of those and try to fly it over lines with like a pilot Zeppelin card or something. But you know, other than that, uh, it'd be like on the ground, and it's a long, long way to Smurferary. Anything to get the pilot zeppelin and the uh, uh, was it ride sled dog skills into the game, right? That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I I did a lot of research for the western thing, and yeah, where where they're at, sled dogs is the only fucking sensible way in and out. Cause those fuckers move fast. All so, right. uh, well, what do you want to do? TJ's resigned himself well, to death already at this point. He's he's got the biggest costume he could get, so he can wear his fucking armor under it. Yeah. He clanks uh, a bit, so, which I mean, people think is odd, but uh, uh, our our options here are uh, go uh, go farther into the rabbit hole <coughs> of uh, uh, walking or sneaking through the lines and into this building, or. Uh, Going away from it, so. Does it look like a bad idea? Of course. That's where we need to go. 
there's also a, a big uh, uh, pyramid type building over there that's not the big. It, I point out because TJ likes shit that doesn't match. The that's a historical museum of some kind. We'll find out what's going on in this world and the people and how they got the way they are. Probably where all the information is. Want to go there? And then um, go to I, the that place. I want to. I want to be walking around in Smurfland for as little little time as possible, dressed as a rabbit. All right. So uh, let's go into the uh, demilitarized zone. Smurf I, I was gonna say, why don't we smurf watch it for a while? Hmm? I, I was going to say, why don't we watch uh, to see where the where the guards move for a while in the area we're going to be crossing over at? Okay. Right. Uh, give me a stealth roll to be unobtrusive, somewhere unobtrusive, so you can watch without being really fucking obvious that hey, we're stalking the guards. This is uh, this is at a minus thirty. Uh, the stealth? No, you're you're just trying to find some place that yeah, you can live and be a rabbit. I fail. Hey, get oh. that smurfing rabbit out of here! I don't want a flyer, says one of the guards. He shakes his uh, uh, rifle at you. I shove him. I Not away. the guard. My oh. bunny friend. Oh. All right. You move him away. Yeah, where did that one come from? They're multiplying. Like smurfing rabbits. Ah, ha, ah, ah. ha. Shut up. Smurfing smurf. Shut up, jokey smurf. Uh, I'll be quiet if you stop what you do, chronic masturbation smurf. And you guys <laughs> move away. So, you want to try set up shop at a different... There's plenty of places. I mean, it's a huge perimeter, so... Yep, uh, just kind of, like, move around and see... Give me another happens. roll, and let's see what happens. Can they actually succeed on standing unobtrusively dressed as giant smurfing rabbits? <laughs> right. Uh, I've got bad news for you. Watch. Uh, I have, I have one, one hero point left. I'm gonna go go ahead and use that to not just. Like, oh god damn it! It's like it's gonna be a fail, but it's not auto death. Ah, I, I had something really good in mind that would give you something else. All right, I so you get yelled at. Hey, don't stand so close to the Smurfin landmines. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, apparently the zone between you and the house. May have landmines in it, you were probably figuring out. You don't like Smurfs with landmines. It tends to irritate you. You almost stepped on one, but you didn't get quite close enough for it. <laughs> Look at Tim trying to slit his own wrists over there. <laughs> oh, God. Mm-hmm. Um, is there a... I slap him in his bunny face with my nice. bunny hand. Pop. Uh, give me give me a fist roll, because if you do it just right, the head can go around once. Ah, uh, not my goal. Ah, uh, okay, you, you give him a little pain. backhand. Going for pop. Oh, no, I meant his costume head, not his actual head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be funnier, the Smurfs would like that. Plus, you get a fist roll. Now, if you fumble, it'll knock it off, and then, you know, bad. Yeah, I'm not trying to get him killed. Uh, okay, you I, pop him I, in the face. I push him. Not hard. <laughs> nope. All right. And you guys move on. One more time. Give me I, a smurf and fumble. Go ahead. To stand unobtrusively dressed as giant fucking rabbits. There is nowhere you can be dressed as a giant fucking rabbit and not get yelled I'll at. I'll spend a point. Oh. <laughs> a ten and a three. All right. Oof. Yeah. Uh, you guys are able to watch. Who wants to do the uh, uh, surveillance role? The air person may support them if they so desire. I got it. Great. I would not like to support. <laughs> Very well. 
There you go. And I got it. Great. Uh, pretty much, yes. You, uh, okay, you have the timing down of the guards. You know exactly when to go. The only bad thing is the landmines, so tricky. Um, you know, assuming you don't step on any landmines, because the guards don't go in the certain dead zone, which in order to get across the dead zone, you would have to be at a good sprint because it's open space and you don't want the guards to see you. So pretty much you know exactly when to get up and in a rabbit suit run across a landmine field. And then you've got on the air side, you've got a good place that you can like duck and hide and then wait for the, them to go. And then you can do some scaling up uh, thousands of feet of, you know, stuff to get into this house. Check. You're ready. You know, and the best thing is you have a buddy with you, and you're pretty sure if he ran first and you tried to match his footsteps in your buddy costume, that you might be okay. I'm going to beat you to it. I haul ass. <laughs> right. Okay. He goes at the, I'm guessing, the right time. But you're going first, DJ? Ta-da! Okay. His sprinting is good. Let's try for your sprinting as well, Mike. Because you, you only need one spring roll instead of Hold making on. you make several. It's just one, one. Just one for the yeah. big great. Is it, is it at half? No, 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 because you're, you're, this is a long, long sprinting type thing. No, I don't make no, it. No, that's all right. You'll probably be blown up by the landmines anyway. Great. So, uh, both of you guys, now, Mike, you get a plus 20 on this luck roll if you're trying to follow him, like, closely, but it is hard because of the fucking hat and the, the, the fucking field of vision keeps moving around, so you're kind of vaguely aware of where he is, so you're trying to follow so if you want to try to follow Tim, you get a plus 20 at it, but Tim is at base because this is the, the uh, one that if you fail your luck roll, then you go boom. Is, uh, is uh, two questions. One, we're doing this when hypothetically nobody can see us. And two, um, the, no, would, it be possible, no, <laughs> would it be possible to hold the head portion like uh, in my arms as I'm running? Well, yeah. Like, is there like a climbing or something element that I need to be doing? No, or it's, it's pretty obstacles? much. No, not really. It, you're just getting a bonus of 20. Whether you hold that or not for this roll won't matter. But you're going to be in the dead zone when somebody might see you. I'll do their spot in a second if you don't explode. If you do explode, then they'll probably go, hey, what's that Smurf and Smurf doing out there blowing up? So <laughs> I'm not even worried about the head. And plus, Having two pieces in okay. giant bunny costumes running across a minefield because they think that's the best idea is definitely a high point of the campaign. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so give me those luck rolls. Tim, you start because you're first up. Let's see if you step on any landmines and find out just how much. Oh, yeah, you do. It's the <laughs> the yeah, bunny it's rabbit good. flips end over end up in the air. Oh. Yeah. I'll spend my last one. Ah, you just yeah. 64. Uh, that's a fail still? Let's see. Yeah. What do I have card-wise? Yeah. <laughs> uh, mm. uh. It is It is full of mines. Nah, I'm good with that result. All right. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll get your damage in a second here. And... Uh, Right, so yeah, he, he blew up. Uh, let me let me see how that goes for him. Uh, right, Tim, could you roll a d6, d8, and try to get low because this is your damage. That's good. Eight total. Okay, okay. Uh, and he he he. If you wanted to try to keep following him, I mean, you, you're down to a plus ten because there's a gap where he stepped and then he flew 
the, if you want to make a jump roll to make a 30, you could try to, to mine the gap and still get your plus 20 <laughs> luck roll. So if you make a jump roll minus 30, you get a plus 20 to your luck roll. If you don't, then you're at a plus 10 to your luck roll because most of the thing, and Tim gets up, he keeps going because Ooh. landmines don't Ooh. stop him. How much of that, wait, is any of that reduced? I, by two points because you're wearing armor. Fucking great. Yeah, you love your armor. You know. So, okay. Uh, okay, so what, what am I rolling here? Give me a jump at negative 30 because you're wearing a big bunny suit. We you did. are the hopping. You hop over. The th that is fucking hilarious. And then the luck roll plus 20 is yeah. a... Yeah, it's a pass. Yay. All right. So the guards come running over. And you're still there. The guards are looking because they heard a landmine go off. They heard a landmine go off. So if they see you, they might shoot you or worse. But Tim is already cleared because he's he's fast like funny. So now one one roll for the guard. Beep. They look. And they look. And they say, I don't see anybody in a giant bunny suit hopping. <laughs> so you guys in your giant bunny suit. I've managed to get clear. And then give me stealth rolls at plus 20 because nobody's looking on that side of the minefield. No, they're looking <laughs> on their side of the minefield. You guys have ninja them. You're in some shadows. You're behind really big. They got fucking big fucking vines here. Like, I can crawl up this shit. I find. So you have made it to the house. Um, unbelievable. I so, pictured like half my bunny face is ripped off. Fucking blood pouring out of it. <laughs> Like, yeah, how great was that shit? <laughs> He's oh. all fucked up. He's got shrapnel stuck in him. New scars for you, Jim. And yeah. okay, so now uh, you got you got to get over some like vines and walls and shit like that. So I'm gonna need mm. climb rolls. Falling probably kill Tim's wounded ass. Probably badly injure you. Is my guess. Thirteen. Oh go. yeah, he scales up there. Even in his bunny suit, he's not falling oh. down. Oh. You, however, oh, no. fall on your fucking head and die. So let me get, <laughs> let me find some damage here. Um, give me a luck roll. See how horrible the damage is, uh, Mike. You made it past the night, Mike. Okay, it's not bad. It's two, it's two d six, and then you got to still make a climb roll. Because you go your way up and you start hey, hold, 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 hold. Hey, Mike. Uh, would you like what? me to assist refill your hand? There you go. <laughs> yeah. Please. Yeah. I would like to yeah. try and wake up first. Unfortunately, up. this is the smurf that never smurfs. Oh, sorry. The dream that never ends is what I meant. All right. Uh, okay, so great. there's the assist refill for whatever. All right. Go ahead and grab your six cards there, Mike. Good luck. We're all counting on you. Okay. What'd you give me? Anything? Oh no, I just play it. That's right. You yep. spend that. Yeah, you just play it. Yeah. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, uh, we all discard our hands. World of pain. Add a boy. Wow. You had nothing to stop it or anything in there, Mike? No. No, no, no. Hey. So, speaking of World of Pain, roll 2d6 as you fall on your fucking head. Try to get low. Yay. It's seven. Hooray. Half real, half stunned, oh, bunny man. And oh, now give me good. a new... Give me a... Are you wanting to keep your bunny suit on? Or take it off and try to climb again? Is uh, the bunny suit making it at half or whatever? Oh, yeah, of course it is. 